Dear colleagues. Declaration, the Senator, her Senator Statement, Senator Platt. <clears throat> Thank you, Speaker. Colleagues, this is something that I have done too often in the last few years. We were all saddened this morning to hear that our very good friend and colleague, Mark Rorwa, passed away early this morning after a brief but valiant battle with cancer. Mark began his public life as an Abbotsford City Councillor, where he served for 14 years. He then moved to federal politics, winning the 2004 election for the riding of Langley. After being re-elected as a member of parliament five times, Mark announced this January that he was retiring from politics and was looking forward to spending more time with his family. And it came as a shock to everyone when on April 14, Mark shared that he was in hospital with what the doctors thought might be pancreatic cancer. He faced the news bravely, writing, we have total trust in God. Yes, there has been lots of tears, but the God who created us has healed me and saved my life before. Most important is I know God loves me and wants me to trust him. I do. Less than a week later, there was a flash of hope. Mark sent out an update saying, my dear friends, I was preparing to choose between a risky surgery or palliative care, but I just received the miracle that we've all been hoping for and praying for. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The doctors had informed him that his colon cancer was treatable and the pancreatic mass was just a tumor. The prognosis was that he would live for years. But it was not to be. Only a few days later, Mark learned that the cancer had been found in his lungs and lymph nodes. More tests would reveal it was chronic, and the doctors were now giving him a maximum of two years. On May 7th, Mark found the strength to come to Ottawa and deliver his farewell speech in the House of Commons. He received a standing ovation from his colleagues, where he told them, I may be around for a long time, or I may be around for a short time. We just don't know. Through it all, his faith in God was unshakable. Mark's favorite passage of scripture was John 3.16, which happens to be mine as well. And it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Just a few weeks ago, Mark wrote, I know that God can immediately heal me, heal me gradually, or he can call me home to heaven. Colleagues, as you know, this morning, Mark was called home. As his family stated earlier, Mark's new address is in heaven, where he hopes to see all of you someday. On behalf of all senators, I offer my deepest condolences to Diane, Mark's wife of 46 years, along with his five children, Jonathan, Ryan, Nathan, Eric, and Kristen, and his 10 grandchildren. Today, we hold you close in our hearts and in our prayers and pray that you will feel the loving arms of God surrounding you. Thank you.